And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Rapid Chess here with a video of the day, and we will watch a game from a famous 1953 Zurich candidate tournament. Maxeve has been veteran, and um, he was uh, on 14th place after 28 rounds, but still he performed a good game against uh, rising star Miguel Nidor, uh, so author of uh, Nidor's SLN. So let's see the game. Uh, Eva plays white, g3, uh, knight c3, c5, uh, attack in the center, now d6 I think more common, d5 taking the uh, space, um, and uh, e5, uh, so uh, this is an uh, invitation for a very sharp game, d6 um, is more uh, traditional, so e5, bishop g5, pinning the knight, h6, and in this position uh, Ova decides to uh, play an interesting idea. Yeah, so normally it's quite scary, but he decided that it's good enough for one game. He played d6, so this pawn here is very vulnerable normally, because um, if black develops, then he can take this center pawn and basically get winning position. And white has to play very actively in order to basically sacrifice a pawn and get something for it. Knight c6. So this is a problem, yeah, that this knight goes to d4, and when you have d5 pawn, obviously, knight c6 is not possible. e3, limiting the, uh, the knight, b6, and uh, uh, bishop to d5. So... Uh, um, He's relocating uh, this bishop to d5 because on g2 you cannot attack the king. And white's idea is to play on the king's side. So with this bishop on d5, it attacks the f7 and uh, it grossly increases chances of the uh, king's side attack. d4, h4, f5. And this position, uh, you see that. Um, White hasn't castled, White hasn't developed the knight, uh, and this pawn is vulnerable. And actually, engine is giving uh, a little bit advantage for black in this position. But if you decided to play uh, uh, like action chess, then you have to play this move, knight to g5. So obviously you cannot take, because uh, uh, king has nowhere to go. You have to give up the, bi uh, the bishop, and uh, white is immediately winning. But uh, um, it kind of semi-sacrifice, I'd say. Bishop to b7. And uh, it invites uh, white to play a uh, to play knight f7. Yeah, check for king, king and uh, king and uh, queen. Takes, takes, and knight to b4. Uh, unleashing this powerful bishop on b7. And after rook to h7, uh, to h2, then uh, black has actually a small advantage here, yeah, because they have developed all the pieces and uh, his king is vulnerable, so uh, black is much better here. So it was not played. Um, uh, g4 was played by white, opening up the, the king's side. d5, unleashing the bishop. Ninety seven and Nidorf took on b2. Um, I don't really like this move. Uh, actually, the game according to engine was very strong. Both players made a lot of engine moves. And uh, this position is fine for black, but um, I'd definitely take white here because um, white has so much initiative on the king side and it will increase as well. Knight f4. So uh, basically, the attacking mass reached the critical. Uh, level, yeah, we have uh, three pieces. This rook is ready to join the attack, and queen also like uh, ready to join the attack. So uh, somehow uh, black is holding here, but um, it's very very suspicious. Um, queen to f6, so developing the queen and uh, defending g6. Combining both uh, 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 best moves, yeah, like defense and attack. Takes 
and uh, knight dosh takes on a1 so uh, black is uh, rook up uh, we cannot capture the bishop yet but uh, and we have very strong um, uh, knights here knight g6 um, uh, knight d4 attacking the uh, queen check um, and queen uh, to queen takes uh, f5 so we notice that black is uh, also aiming for f2 they kind of have semi counter attack we can say and also this knight is hanging so the next move was uh, pretty strong knight f4 uh, now this bishop is attacked and uh, white create uh, defended from this f2 threat and also rook is ready to join king h8 so if we play uh, bishop to e5 then knight g3 queen h7 and queen g4 and after king h8 uh, knight to g6 wins so pretty hard to save this bishop uh, so white took the bishop knight d2 h5 uh, preparing to jump with the knight to g6 and knight g3 so actually this position is still uh, kind of plus 0.5 for uh, white but i think uh, nidorf was in time trouble here and he he was tired of you know defending from uh, all these threats and he sacrificed uh, uh, exchange back but uh, it's a critical mistake and black is losing now King f2, uh, rook e8, back, very strong move, uh, uh, rook to e1. Uh, we see that uh, black has this bish uh, these two pieces which are not playing in the game. This knight is uh, actually pinned. And if you play uh, knight to d8, then uh, you will lose a lot of time and uh, black still uh, while queens are on board uh, this black king is very vulnerable so the only piece which is uh, defending him is this rook which white obviously wants to exchange in g7 check check knight g2 so uh, also uh, knight is very good for defending purposes check and in this position uh, king hunt is complete uh, black resigned very impressive victory and um, uh, with this belief that d6 pawn is uh, very strong so ever managed to win a game all right uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time